Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, we're going to be completing the mini quest, His Faithful Servants. The quest requirement is Priest in Peril, and there are no stat requirements. But I will suggest you to have some higher combat stats than me currently doing this mini quest with. I would suggest 60 attack for Dragon Weaponry, 61 ranged for a Rune Crossbow, and at least 50 magic for Ibans Blast or Magic Dart. Items needed. Simply a spade. If you don't have a spade, you can grab one at the mini quest start. For the recommended items, one strange old lockpick if you want to skip the entirety of the crypt maze, one standard potion should be enough, and then between zero and two prayer potions, depending on your stats and weapons that you're going to be using. For the weapons, we're going to be killing four out of six Barrows brothers using magic. So I suggest you to bring along an Iban Staff or a Slayer Staff for the Magic Dart or the Iban Blast spell. If you have level 75 magic or higher, then bring along a Trident of the Seas. One out of six brothers is an archer, so please bring a Dragon Dagger. But if your melee stats are below level 60 and you can't use Dragon Weaponry, then you could also bring some magic to kill the ranger. And at the final, the sixth brother is a mage. You can't kill it using magic because all your magic spells will splash. So please bring along ranged is the best option, like magic shortbow or a rune crossbow. For the armors, bring some tank gear because four out of six melee brothers have negative magic attack as well as defense. So having a negative magic attack bonus doesn't really matter that much. I'm going to be using tank gear for 5 out of 6 brothers. And for the mage one, I'm going to switch to my ranged gear. And besides from that, a full inventory full of food if you have terrible stats just like me. For the teleports, after we have reached the center of the barrow script, I'm going to be using another barrow's teleport to quickly make my way back to the surface. And after the mini quest is completed, one teleportation method away from Mauritania. So before we're going to be starting the quest, I'm going to quickly grab the spade from this shed. And then I'm going to be making my way east of Morton to the six mounds of the Barrows brothers. Let's go to the center and somewhere on one of these six mounds, there should find a strange old man. Let's talk to him and keep pressing space until you see two options. Don't select any of them and just click away. Now it is time to kill the six Barrows brothers. I'm going to be starting with the four melee brothers. The four melee brothers is the mound northeast, northwest, southwest and southeast. But before starting, once you search a sarcophagus and there spawns no brother, but you've actually found the entrance into the Barrow's Crypt, then don't go into the crypt and go back to the surface to kill the next brother first. So once you know that, I'm going to be starting with the Northeastern Brother, because this one requires Protect from Melee, because the max hit of this guy is 57. Stand on the top of the mount and dig with your spade. Be sure to have your other cost on, then use Protect from Melee and search the crypt. Then kill Derok the Wretched. Once Derek has been defeated, let's go upstairs, and I'm gonna go to the northwestern mount now. Go stand on top of it, and dig. Once again, use Protect from Melee, but the thing with this guy, even though you're using Protect from Melee, sometimes it can hit through prayer. The max hit should be between 20 and 30, so watch out. Don't let your health go too low. <laughs> 
Next up, go back upstairs. And next, I'm gonna be going to the southwestern mount. This is Thorax. Let's dig with our spade. Be sure to pay attention to your prayer points. Drink prayer potions if you need to. Dig with your spade. Use protect from melee. Search the sarcophagus. And kill Thorax if he spawns. The special attack of Thorax is when you take damage, there's a 25% chance that your run energy will be drained. Once Thorax has been defeated, let's go to the south western southeastern mount and this is guttons let's dig with our spade use protect from melee and search the sarcophagus kill guttons the special attack of guttons is that there is a chance that it will heal the damage that it has dealt to you Right, once Guthans has been defeated, the next two brothers is Ranged and Mage. I'm gonna be starting with the Ranged one, which is the most southern mount. Let's dig with our spade. Be sure to pay attention to your prayer points. If Carol deals damage to you, then there is a chance that it will drain your agility level. And use Protect from Missiles. And kill Carol. Once you've defeated Carols, let's go back to the surface, and now it's time for the most difficult brother, which is in the center of the six mounds. Let's dig with our spade and use protect from magic. Also equip your ranged gear. Kill Aaron the Blighted. Oof. Oof, my stats are too shit. All right, once uh, Arams has been defeated, let's now go to the mount where you found your entrance to the crypt. Let's equip our tank gear again and dig with our spade. Let's search the sarcophagus and say yes, I'm fearless. Next up, you are in the Barrow's Crypt and you can see that the minimap is completely blacked out. What we'll need to do is we'll need to make our way to the center of the crypt and open this chest over there. But it is a little bit tricky to make your way over there. Because most doors don't have a open option. Some of them do and you will need to open all the doors until you finally made your way to the center of the crypt. Right, let's start opening doors until you've made it to the center. I'm not going to be running around, so I'm just going to be using my strange old lockpick to make my way to the center. But pay attention, every time you open a door, a monster will spawn and it will start attacking you. 
these monsters will range from combat 43 all the way to 79. And if a monster doesn't spawn, that means that your sixth brother will start attacking you. So be sure to keep your health always high. If the brother does not spawn while you're opening doors, that will mean that the brother will spawn when you open the chest in the center. Once you've defeated your sixth brother by opening doors or opening the chest in the center, open the chest and search it and you will get a strange icon. You will need to bring this strange icon back to the strange old man. You could make your way all the way back to the ladder and climb back up to the surface or simply teleport. Let's make our way back to the strange old man. Let's talk to him to complete this mini quest. And congratulations, you've completed his faithful servant's mini quest. You are awarded with a dusty lamp. And when you rub it, you will get a confirmation message asking you if you want to receive 20,000 prayer experience. Uh, why not? And the second reward is a crypt map. If you go back to the Barrow's Crypt, you'll see that currently the minimap is black and you can't use it. If you study the Crypt map, uh, quickly go back upstairs and go back downstairs. Oh, there we go. And you'll see that now the minimap has been made usable. And those are the rewards of this mini quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye. Oh my fucking god, I actually got one of the most expensive items. What?